Hey guys, Jacob Scott, Lowrance product expert. Today we're out here on the water. We're going to walk you through using the Lowrance Structure Scan 3D with the new HDS Live units. Don't forget if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for the Lowrance YouTube channel so you can get more technical videos like this. be wondering what is structure scan 3d well it's a scanning sonar technology that we developed that gives you unbelievable range I mean we're talking 600 feet to each side of the boat so if you're looking out that far to each side of the boat that gives you a total coverage of 1200 feet of water left and right that you're looking at not only that but it has amazing resolution and clarity so the way we've set up our bars in it and the way the crystals work it just gives you this unbelievable picture and then not only that is it gives you the ability to turn it into 3d mode which basically lays everything that it's all the data that it's gathering it lays it basically on a 3d palette kind of like on the 3d game some of you guys have played in the past on computers and stuff and it gives you that a 3d look of what's going on under your boat in the water as here we are we're looking at structure scan 3d you can see whenever you've got the module up, it says S3D on the top of your screen so that, know, that you know you're using your source of your Structure Scan 3D module. The range right now is set on 120 feet, but we could like kick it all the way out to 600 feet. Again, it's gonna fill up a lot of screen. It'll t it, the thing is, is the further you range it out, the longer it takes those pings to get back. So sometimes that will affect your scroll speed. So again, I always like to use it just in whatever range that's best for what I'm trying to do. So we're in 120 foot range here. You can see the clarity that we're getting out there. We get really great clarity on this. And again, we talk about color palettes and stuff. People always ask what's the best color palette to use. It's gonna be a personal preference on that. So we go into the palette, like here's what it looks like with the number two palette. Um, again, it's a really great daylight viewable palette. And for most people, that's what they need to figure out. Which one looks best for them in the daylight? Because what looks good to my eyes in the daylight may not look good to your eyes in the daylight. So a lot of times I just really like this number one palette, so I use it most of the time. And we'll talk about the contrast. So contrast, think of that as energy or power that you're putting into the water. So the more energy you put in the water, so if we turn it up, you can see it really quickly and easily blows out. And if you turn it down, it gets a little bit darker. And for some people, it's a little bit easier to see. Now, usually when I'm using it, especially in the range we're in, we're in 28 feet of water. So I usually, I still leave it in auto, but I just back it down a little bit so it's not putting quite as much power into the water. The other thing with the Structure Scan 3D module is you also have the down scan imaging. So as you can see here, we're using fish reveal. Now, some people may ask, what's this line on the bottom here? Well, with my fish reveal, my 2D transducer and my Structure Scan 3D transducer, they're sitting a little bit differently in height. So that's why I, sometimes I'll get this line along the bottom because my 2D transducer is reading this as the bottom and my Structure Scan 3D transducer is reading it just a little bit deeper because it sits up a little bit higher. But again, we're using Fish Reveal here. The contrast works the same with the down scan as it does with the side scan. And then you can turn your, you can change your sensitivity on your fish reveal options. Changing your sensitivity obviously puts more power in the water and things like that. The other thing you can do is you can go to more options and here's where you can turn fish reveal off if you decide you don't want to use it. So now the one thing that the Structure Scan 3D transducer can do that none of the other scanning transducers can do is our 3D sonar. So we go out here and we turn it on and what we're getting is a 3D depiction of what's going on on the bottom. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can make it whatever you want. But what's really cool is you can turn and look at this environment. Look at the look at where it's dropping off of the edge over here. You can see where that drop is. You can see where these rocks and boulders come up and down in here. It's really amazing. You can you can actually see the depth. You can see that the bottom here goes up and down. And if you look at the 2D sonar and some of the other sonars that we've got, you'll really see that. You can see we've got a waypoint right here. It shows us this waypoint in 3D. But what's really amazing is the fact that you can look at that bottom. 
you can see those rocks and stuff on the bottom. You can see the way they relate. You can see how they just come up and down and you can see what's jagged. You can turn it and look at whatever view you think is the best. You can see there's a big drop right there. So if you, if you look at this, there's a lot of, of cracks and cuts in this. You can see this is a really hard bottom by the way it reflects, but it's just amazing the way it looks on 3D. So as you look at this line here, you see some number readings on it and you may ask what they are. If you look on the left side, this number that keeps changing up and down 40 to 50 feet, that means that the distance we're in, it's looking 40 to 50 feet to the left hand side of the boat. Right here straight down, we're in 27 feet of water. And over here on the side, if we look at this one, we're looking a hundred and about 136 feet out to the side of the boat over here. As you can see, we've kind of come into a little flat right here. Um, it shows flats. The, the wall that you see on the left hand side is where it goes up on the bank. Um, on the right hand side, you can see here, you've got some ridges and stuff as this is where, where that hard bottom or that rocky bottom is moving in towards the river channel and starting to slope down. Then the other thing you'll see on the screen, you see all these little multicolored dots. And what those are is that's actually stuff in the water column. That's fish, that's bait fish. Um, depending on some, some areas where you're in, if you've had like a lot of water movement, we're in a river system, so this water comes up and down depending on rains and what they're doing at the dams. So sometimes we'll get a lot of particulates like um, leaves and sediment and stuff like that in the water. So if that, if that trash and little broken sticks and stuff like that, so if that's floating down, sometimes you'll pick that up. So if you feel like you're seeing too much clutter or dots on the screen, what you can do with that is you can come to the advanced option and go to your target sensitivity. Right now mine's in auto, but if you just like bump it down just a little bit, it helps clear up the stuff that you're seeing in the water column. As you can see, a lot of the little dots have disappeared and now it's just the bigger dots. And where we're at, we've been through here a couple times, that's a bunch of sand bass and stuff like that that's over to the side of the boat. So what's awesome about those showing up in the column like that is you can kind of twist it around and look at it and see, you can see which side of the boat those fish are on. You can kind of see what depth they're at. And the best thing about that is if you're trolling for this stuff and you're running lures out there, it actually lets you know basically about where you need to run, the depth you need to run your lures at so that you can get your lure down in that targeted area of the water column where these fish are. So those are some of the basics on how to use all of the features available on your structure scan 3D. Don't forget, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the Lorance YouTube channel so you can get this and other weekly updates.